right, Erin, well, we are getting ready for hurricane season. And if you live in West Palm Beach, any yard waste will be collected for free. The director of Public Works, Leon Pinder, is here to tell us all about it. So you guys call this the Vegetation Amnesty Days. What exactly is that? So that gives the residents uh, the opportunity to clean their yards just before hurricane season and prepare. And how does this help the residents and the city? So one of the things is it helped the residents by preparing so that at the hurricane, um, that they don't have the large debris of her, uh, right. vegetation outside of their yards. And then it helped the city that we're able to clean up the city in a much quicker manner. Yeah, and focus on maybe some other things, you know, that, that could take priority and, and not things that we can kind of prevent ahead of time. Um, so for people who maybe just moved to West Palm Beach, is there anything that they should know about? Well, just know that the uh, hurricane uh, amnesty days that we have, it is a great opportunity for them to uh, take advantage of because they can put out unlimited vegetation, one pile in front of their residents and uh, the city will pick it up at no additional charge. Yeah, and again, it's a free service. So even if you have some um, some stuff you've been wanting to get rid of, right, for, for a little bit, a little bit of yard work, go ahead and take advantage of these days. So Leon, it starts May 6th and it goes through May 17th. Yes, correct. Okay, so they can just put it out there on the side and, and um, the city will come and, and pick it up. Yes, okay. just as long as it's not blocking any uh, mailboxes on the power lines or next to a fire hydrant or blocking a storm drain, we will pick it up at no charge and uh, leave it uh, as the way we found it. Now, for people, again, who are new to the area, because we have so many new Floridians here in our state, mm -hmm. what exactly does this mean? What should they be looking around in their yard for to, you know, maybe trim and, and get rid of? So any overgrown hedges, any overgrown trees that may interfere with uh, falling on their house, uh, doing damage to their roof or something that may be uh, just that haven't been maintained over the uh, years or over the last couple months, this will be the perfect opportunity to take advantage of this. All right, and it's a little hard to believe, right, that we're less than a month away from the start of hurricane season. On June 1st, the city's doing some things, though, to really get prepared. Yes, yeah, so uh, on May 23rd, the city is doing our annual hurricane drill that we will be preparing. With, we work with multiple departments uh, each year to uh, make sure that we're prepared if a hurricane should take place. And Liam, what does that consist of exactly? So it's going to consist of multiple departments working together uh, where we're going to have a lot of this uh, amnesty vegetation debris that we're going to put down on roads. We're going to test our skills with chainsaws, our teams cutting up the trees, being able to push it out of the road properly without damaging any property and uh, just making sure that we're testing our skills to make sure that if a hurricane should take place that we're ready uh, to go as soon as it's over. It's that time of year again, right? Leon, thank yes. you so much for stopping by and talking to us. All this information is on our website right now, WPBF.com. If you want more, just click on Vegetation Amnesty Days.